News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants. Harlingen police are investigating two shootings that happened hours apart. The first happened early Tuesday morning on Wilson Road. The second happened on Hain Drive Tuesday evening. In both, the two teens were shot. Thankfully, they all survived. In the Wilson Road shooting, a 19-year-old Adam Gritzner has been charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. A 16-year-old was also arrested and charged. As of this morning, no arrests have been made in connection with the second shooting on Hain Drive. If you have any information, call Harlington Police at 956-425-8477. The city of McAllen has a new ambulance provider. They struck a deal with Lone Star Ambulance. That company will replace Medicare EMS in three weeks. You may remember the city and Medicare EMS cut ties because they couldn't agree on a price for a new contract. The contract with Lone Star Ambulance is for one year. The city will pay around $600,000. But Oma ISD parents have a new tool that'll help them keep track of their kids as they head to school. It's for parents of bus riders. The district launched an app called Stop Finder this week. Parents can see in real time from the moment their child gets picked up to the moment they get dropped off. They can even send a message to the bus, bus driver, that is, if they need to. And it's going to be another cold and cloudy day in the valley, but the sun will finally start to come out later this afternoon. Highs will be in the 50s. That's your News in 60. Have a great day. News in 60 is supported by El Pato Fresh Mexican Restaurants.